So I had to like figure everything about what return to duty is and a SAT program. Like I didn't know nothing of it. When you go to school, they only talk to you about the basic knowledge of trucking. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for listening. And in this story time right here, we have a SAP driver, a female driver, that she's going to come in to explain her process through the SAP program. Guys, listen, I understand that you guys have a moment of weakness. You want to enjoy yourself, but you got to remember if you get popped for during the drug testing phase, that's in any phase, that's at the pre-employment, that is the randoms, or any time that a company deems that they want you to take a drug test, and if you uh, fail the drug test, you're automatically listed in the FMCSA's clearinghouse. There's also other reasons that can land you in the FMCSA's clearinghouse as well, but it seems as though marijuana and drugs seems to be the biggest culprit. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. All right, good morning. Yeah, I probably might hear some construction because I'm here parked right now, but um, this is the whole thing about the return to duty drug test. Like when I failed my pre-employment drug test, I spoke with uh the doctor that did the drug test for me um he told me like hey it's gonna go on your clearance house and you're gonna have to figure it out from there they don't tell you much um so i had to like figure everything about what return to duty is and a sat program like i didn't know nothing of it when you go to school they only talk to you about the basic knowledge of trucking they don't, t they tell you about like, do not fail a drug test, but they don't tell you what happens if you fail a drug test. You have to figure that out on your own. So I, I had to do that. I had to figure out what a SAT program was, what a return to duty drug test was. I had to figure out everything. I had to have money to the side, which I did when I graduated. And um, when I failed it, I found a counselor, mind you, they were char they charge, it depends on where you're from. These counselors sh sh starting is like $500 and more, like up to $2,000. So I, I found, I got lucky and I found a counselor. He charged me $500. We had, I think I would say max of three meetings. We talked about the drug test, about failing it and all that. And then what I should do after. So once I was done with my three um, meetings, he wrote a letter for any employer that hires me after that they would have to do a return to duty drug test for me. So I would have to be, somebody would have to watch me when I do my drug test. So I did my return to duty drug test um, and it came back negative. Mind you, I was prohibited from driving a truck. So once you fail your drug test and it goes on your clearance house, you have a red light on your clearance house and it basically says like you cannot drive a truck until you do that return to duty drug test. Once you do the return to duty drug test, your employer has to do every month from six, it depends on the counselor, from six months to a year, they ha you have to do our uh it's like a plan every month you have to do a return to duty drug test i forgot what it was but for me it was from six months to 12 months i don't know about other people but i probably might have to do another video so come back for one with that said i i think was sap being a prominent thing in trucking right now i honestly feel that these trucking schools should you know let you guys know of the program and what's needed to uh finish the program a lot of companies won't even tell you they'll send you to the drug test 
and if you fail the drug test for any reason they'll just say hey okay you're in the sap program go and figure it out for yourself but boy at, at least give me an idea on where, where to start who to contact what phone number i mean there's orientations where you guys give us legal shield and and truck legal stuff when something happens to us on the road but you can't give me a direction of where to go for sap nah just figure it out for yourself wow see see what i'm saying and you won't figure all that out until you go do your research on these sap programs now while you are in school and everything of course the school if you failed the drug test in school you still going to be able to get a chance to complete the schooling and get your cdl that's if you pay for the school out of your pocket now if it's a sponsored school then no they're not going to let you continue with the schooling program because you're in the fmcsa's clearinghouse and also that is per uh them giving you a job after you completed school that's why they say it's quote unquote free which it, it is not but in any case if you're paying for school out of your pocket of course you're going to continue the schooling get your cdl but you're already blacklisted because you you failed the the drug test and i know for a lot of you guys that's paying out of pocket shouldn't have a problem you know paying for counselors and stuff like that now i know it's a burden but for you guys you probably might have it but for the drivers that's coming in you know without money and getting put up by the company to do the training and the schooling and the stuff like that and you get out there and they say you know you failed the drug test and now you got to end up coming back home you still don't have no money and now you got to find extra money to do the fmcsa's sap, uh clearinghouse sap program yep and there you have it the return to duty drug test and that part right there once you get finished with all the steps i believe step six is the return to duty process and that process right there is long and tedious for sap drivers why because there are not that many companies are accepting sap drivers to help them with their return to duty status um of course there has been a lot of success stories especially with this one right here lisa she's one of the success stories she found the company that was willing to give her a chance uh they brought her in helped her get through the return to duty status and now you know she's driving trucks every day so shout out to lisa for her story guys want to know more about lisa definitely go over there to her tiktok page and let her know that lockout men sent you let's get the conversation started in the comments below if you guys know anybody that's a sap driver or if you're a sap driver and you have a story that you like to talk get in contact with us you can hit us up at the gmail that's lockout men podcast guests at gmail.com Com. Subscribe for more. The run, the boat, the pack of tequila, mix it all up, and I swear to that, I need none of them. My pocket, if it ain't about the water,